Okay, so So now what I'm going to do here um, is uh, I'm going to quickly go over here on my ADFS and that's the reason why I'm recording this video because I wanted you to see some of the stuff I'm going to have to do. I'm going to come over here, add the features and roles, come over here. So go to this one, this guy I'm going to try to install Federation Service, that's what I want to install. Go to next, go to next, go to next, go to install. The installation itself doesn't take a long time. Some time so the installation is done now. Then I'm going to go ahead and configure Federation Service. So. This is going to be like my first federation in the, in the farm, so I'm going to go over here because you can have many of these. So you can see Perkins domain, I'm going to say uses in configuration, and then I don't have a certificate. You see, that's a problem. You understand what I'm saying? Because as I've told you, a DFS certificate. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I should have done earlier on, but I didn't want to do it because I wanted to see the importance of certificate. You understand what I'm saying? So now I'm going to go over here and go to add and remove snapping and I'm going to go to certificate here, come over here and go ahead and install it on the local system and go to OK, go to certificate here, personal, right, and I'm going to go to find all task, right, and I'm going to say request new certificates. Then I'm going to come over here, go to next here and ideally if everything works as it should you know you should see a list of certificates that this machine has been permitted to auto enroll for does that make any sense now when you see something like this don't even worry at all uh one of the things i found out especially with 2016 server is when you run this thing the replication doesn't take place across the domain right away does that make any sense Hello, I'm showing you this so that when you run into it, you're not like, oh, I did it and it doesn't work, right? You saw the way I did it earlier on. It's normally, when you run this and the request certificate, this should work. You should see something that come over here and I will show you, you know, how to easily, you know, resolve that problem. Yes, I'm going to go back. So I've saved the console here. So I'm going to go over here. And again, don't forget, I'm doing this now on my ADFS system and I'm going to come over here I want to install certificate I've given the permissions to do it request new certificate go to next go to next and once this field is populated then you can go you will see a list of active directory that has been uh, a list of certificate that your machine has been authorized to auto enroll for CADFS that we did earlier on huh? We'll go to enroll here and then it's going to go ahead and enroll takes a couple minutes maybe one minute or two maximum uh, shouldn't take more than that um, but then once this certificate is see it's enrolling now right if i had not given this machine permission earlier then this in this case it will fail you understand what i'm saying so you cannot forget to give the appropriate permission for the system because the certificate now is not for human being you got it it's for system so this is done now then i'm going to go back up here again um go right now and go back and try and configure my federation service i've told you it's a false uh federation server you can have a farm of federation service or federation server if you are in a large environment if you have a lot of users that are needing to log on several applications you want to have a lot of machines doing this so we're going to go to next year and then at this point see that now I have it you got it so that's why I needed to install it and here you can call this one you can call it chicken wings 
you know, if that's uh, if that's what you want to, see what I'm saying? If that's the name of your, you know, ADFS, fine. It's just a name. You can put anything you want over here. If you want to be respectful, you can say Perkins Incorporated. But little humor doesn't help. Uh, doesn't hurt rather. Go over here, and now we have an issue. It's saying group managed service account are not available because KDS root key has not been set. And it actually tells you what you need to do. Normally it takes about 10 hours for this thing to work. And you see here it's grayed out. You understand what I'm saying? One of the things you want to do, the reason you want to use a, a, a managed service account is because, see, if I can use my name, I can go ahead and select administrator and it will work. But after most of your administrative account is set up, your password expires every couple, every now and then, right? Maybe every 30 days, 60 days. What's going to happen to your federation service when your password expires? It's going to fail. Now you're going to have thousands of users who couldn't view or use your application anymore. Then you have to go back and set your password and reset this one. That's a nightmare. You want to use a service account with a money service account you don't know the password it is your operating systems that knows the password and the password is set reset for you every 30 days you understand number two for a, a, a managed service account that we call msa can only be used on one system but in a situation like this when we need potentially uh, a group of servers remember when i say federation service in this case this is my first federation service we can have a group, a farm, you understand what I'm saying, of servers. You need what we'll call, look at it up here, a group managed service account. A group managed service account can be used on multiple servers. You understand what I'm saying? Don't forget that. I will make sure I pay, I ask you for that, you know, later in the, in the class. Then I will go to my domain controller and create it and create such an account so go to my domain controller here and then I would go and Windows PowerShell okay and then I will type this so I've typed ADS KDS root you see that? Normally it takes 10 hours to populate, but by putting minus 10, kind of more or less saying, let's do it right now. You understand what I'm saying? It is very, very, very important for you to know that. Now, sometimes you might also want to run a group policy update. Okay? Uh, but, and I'll probably show you that one in another example. So, I haven't done this one now. Uh, normally in a normal environment it takes about 10 hours for this thing to populate there is video of this I'm going to put this video up on D2L okay so you're going to see the video of this thing on D2L so and I'll probably do that in another couple of hours now so then I can go over to my ADFS okay and I'll go back here go to this one and now you can see this is enabled now you see that you see that? It's very, very important that you remember that. Then I can call this one um, ADF. Okay, let's call it GSA, Group Service Account. All right? To go to next. Now, if you're going to use uh, just about 10. Our ADFS and not too large environment you can just go ahead and use an SQL server that's going to be installed inside your server system otherwise you can set up a dedicated SQL server go to next year and by going ahead and doing this you have successfully well let's not get ahead of ourselves and you can say all oh, the products that check pass successfully go ahead and configure 
Now you have seen two very important reasons why we need to have a certificate, right? It is this certificate that this machine is going to use to authenticate itself. You understand what I'm saying? If the ADFS doesn't have a certificate, when another machine says, I need to know who you are, this guy doesn't have anything to authenticate itself. Uh, remember that this is very important. Uh, the installation of this one is going to go on uh, D2L, and you can go over and look at it, and you can see this ADFS is fully installed right now. Okay?